On the Medical Watch this afternoon, the dangers of third-hand smoke? Yeah, we'll learn what that is. Medical reporter Dina Baer is here to explain what that is and how it impacts smokers and non-smokers as well. I learned something new today, there too, Lord and Ben. Smokers inhale first-hand smoke. The smoke they blow back out, the air, is second-hand smoke. And the remnants left behind on surfaces like carpets and furniture constitutes third-hand smoke. And experts say it is dangerous. In rooms where people smoke regularly, tobacco and nicotine linger long after the cigarette goes out. The Department of Energy's Berkeley lab warns it results in toxic indoor pollutants resistant to common cleaning practices. Chemicals from the surface of the contaminated surfaces rise back into the air and are then inhaled, damaging lungs. Men and women respond differently to stress biologically. Chronic stress alters brain cells of males and females in unique ways. Wiseman Institute of Science researchers say the finding opens the door for personalized therapy for depression, anxiety, and stress-related disorders like obesity and diabetes. Mental and physical disorders caused by chronic stress affect both men and women. But experts say only by studying the individual manifestation can we arrive at effective, lasting therapies. For better health, just walk. Don't count to 10,000 steps. A new study says that number is irrelevant. What is important is movement and activity. According to research presented at the European Society of Cardiology, even 4,000 steps a day reduces the risk of dying. Less than 3,000 steps a day enhances blood vessels and reduces heart disease. In the end, the more you walk, the greater the benefit. Simply start slowly, add with every 500 to 1,000 extra steps per day, you gain a 15% reduction in death by all causes. Wow, mm -hmm. impressive numbers. Come yeah, on. There you go. We can do it, Ben. Cruise around the newsroom. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you.